Now well, that, have now, twerk now, it. Now, all right, now, twerk if they it. did that, if they did yeah. twerk it in the Olympics, <laughs> I would tune in for that. that would All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. So, uh, babe, what are we doing today? What's going on? So, the Olympics is in Paris. Yes, it Have is. you been watching the Olympics? Uh, I kind of checked out of the Olympics a long time ago. Like, usually <laughs> so, I watch the, the highlights nope. from the gymnastics, but I don't really care for it. Okay, so there is a new sport, and I bet you can never guess what that sport is. No. I... You want to give it a guess? Give uh, it a go. I don't know. MMA? Mm -mm. Okay. That's my guess. Oh, okay. MMA or some kind of contact sport, some kind of fighting. I mean, that. you know what? That would make the Olympics interesting. If MMA. They had, yeah, if they had like a blood sport in there. If they had people, uh, because they've had boxing in there for mm -hmm. a long time. And boxing is, I don't know. It's, it's Boxing isn't boring <laughs> when you see the fighters you want to see fight. Yeah. But... When they do it in a friendly way on the in the Olympics, it's not interesting. Okay, well, you're not even close. It is break dancing. What? Break dancing is now an Olympic sport. Okay. Okay, you know what? I, I can see that. Because, you know, in order to be a break dancer, you have to have, like, a lot of control of your body. And the backflips and the flipping and turning and head spinning and stuff. So, yeah, I, I can see that. Okay, I, I can't see getting a gold medal for breakdancing. I was kind of mm. thrown off. Uh, I, there I mean, are a it, lot of other it things is kinda that, odd. that could be. But, okay. <laughs> Let's just why why are movie. they doing this? I don't know. I don't know. So like, out of all the dance forms, they chose breakdancing. Well, let's watch. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. guess maybe it was for the uh, how, how, 50 years of hip hop. Maybe that's. Was it 50 years of so hip hop? So when they do the break dancing, do they I have don't rappers know. or. <laughs> like, are I don't they know. Actually that's getting what we're going to watch it. Hip hop to participate in Babe, this? Because that's, that's what it would be. Like, listen. If you're going to do break dancing <laughs> in the Olympics and pay homage. To now, I don't know. If, I don't know if that's what they doing, oh, babe. Okay. So this is all new to me. I was uh, scrolling and I seen this, and it said uh, break dancing at, in the Olympics, and I was just, oh my god, we gotta talk about this. So yeah, I right. don't know. I don't know anything. I mean, are they gonna play like juvenile or something? Or? Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now, well, that, have now, all right, now, all right, now if they did that, if they did yeah. twerk it in the Olympics, I would tune in for that. That would be interesting. Of course. Yeah. Get a gold medal for Yeah, you. Back gold medal for booty up. popping. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right, so let's check out this video, guys. Y'all can leave your thoughts in the comment section. Let's go. Of an entirely new metal event, breaking, or what's perhaps more widely known to the uninitiated, like me, as breakdancing. <laughs> In a Los Angeles dance studio, 21-year-old Logan Edra teaches moves she spent two-thirds of her life developing oh, since she was just man. seven. In the world of breaking, she's called B-Girl Logistics. And as oh. one of the four members of the U.S. breaking team at the Paris Games, she can also hey. be called Olympian. I see any wow. title or championship or win or medal, it's more for me like a microphone to amplify any message I want. I represent the peace, love, unity, and having fun, and, and also being a student of the game and, and caring about the evolution of like where this Give is going and keeping middle. it alive. The first Olympic breaking competition was at the 2018 Youth Games in Buenos Aires. The Olympics recognizes it as an urban sport, like skateboarding, also an Olympic <laughs> event. Competitor Urban. They're like, oh, that's an urban. Urban. Sport. Hard you, urban. <laughs> it's funny when they always use the word urban. It's always like in association with like black. And we oh, gotta do the hard black. B. Inner city. Inner city. <laughs> urban. Dirty. <laughs> Dirty dancing. There's need improvisation, athleticism, and coordination. Drawing on disciplines like martial arts and gymnastics. It was created in the 1970s at South Bronx dance parties by black and Latino youths. Black. It's said that the name comes from the breaks in hip hop songs, when the vocals drop out, leaving a steady driving beat. You gotta the 1983 film Flashdance helped breaking go mainstream with a scene with members of the hip hop group Rock Steady Crew. 
Now its popularity is global. From the United Kingdom to France. If you think about Paris, maybe you think about the Eiffel Tower and, and, and you think about croissants, but when I think about Paris, That's I think awesome. about raw hip hop. Nigeria. Yeah. Lies. Lies what? He said. <laughs> raw hip hop. Raw hip hop? Yeah. Paris, yeah, no. Yeah, Paris has. has I all right, know. all right. So look, 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 no. look, look. I'm going to say it like this. You know, <laughs> back in the day, I was I was really big into breakdancing. And oh um, one I'm thing that I did know new. was that uh, the breakdance culture, it is huge, or it was huge in Europe and in, um, in France. Like, there were some of the really good b-boys that came out of, of france i guess he said yeah. when he thinks of of paris yeah, that's mean, what he thinks that's if what he thinks right, i don't yeah. think if anybody else cult, thinks I that mean, if you're in the break dancing community mm -hmm. and the culture then you know it's like you're gonna think about urban dance in france songs <laughs> but when i think about paris i think about raw hip-hop nigeria raw hip -hop. egypt Dancing is what makes you stay away from smoking and drinking, and all of the self-destructive things. For me, it's an art, but also something that I find myself in. Brazil, Libya, even Iran. Here is Iran, and we are dancing. We love to dance as other people do. We want to enjoy our youth. What was born at block parties of the Bronx will be going for the gold at the Place de la Concorde in the heart of Paris. Yeah. All right, so this is this is very interesting. Um, I never would have thought that something like breakdancing would have became an Olympic sport. Mm -hmm. But I, I feel like, I, I don't want to say it's too late, but I feel like it, maybe it should have been getting this kind of mainstream recognition when it was really popular during the... Uh, the, the 90s and even in the 80s like I almost feel like you know with the points that they've made with the athleticism and everything it should have been an Olympic sport okay well because my thing is like why now why all of a sudden now is breakdancing get, getting this recognition for the good things and now it's being elevated to a stage like the Olympics so I'm on the fence because I feel like I was joking at first because it kind of caught me off guard. Yeah. I didn't think that breakdancing is on the same level as some of the other sports that are in the Olympics. Okay. It is an art form though. Yeah. And I'm never not going to say that. It is a, an art form just like um, other cultures have an art form like capoeira in Brazil. Yeah. You have Guanguanco in Cuba. Um, we have break dancing, which is a form of hip hop. And I, 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 I know that some people don't see it as an art form, but it is. And okay. it is nice that other people can appreciate um, our culture and it's not the culture of america but it is part of the yeah, culture exactly and, it was, it's an american culture it was birthed yeah. here in america and especially since so many people say that we don't have culture okay. or some people think that hip-hop is the only culture that we have right yeah um but hopefully more art forms will be explored here um but I'm not sure if it's Olympic worthy. I, not that I'm not sure. I, I don't consider it Olympic hmm, worthy. That's just my uh, opinion. Right, and, but then you have to, like, you have to really define to yourself, what do you deem something as being Olympic worthy? Because I recall there being uh, Olympic competitions of people shooting targets and I would say that it takes more athleticism to be a break dancer than somebody having good aim and shooting a target. Okay, that's fair. So we kind of have to define like what allows something to actually be considered an Olympic sport. Uh, because I, you know what, I did hear that pretty soon, or maybe they were thinking about it, making uh, video games or esports 
an Olympic sport. No. Now, I think that would be pretty cool because, no. all right, and hear me out, hear me out. <laughs> because some of these eSport um, e players, they dedicate just as much time to playing video games as a professional athlete would to uh, being a professional basketball player or skier, ice skater, or wrestler or boxer. Well, you know what I dedicate my time to? Eating. And we should make that an Olympic sport. I, uh, maybe I, I maybe think they, a do pie they have an Olympic eating contest. Eating competition? I don't know. If they do, I'm going to join it then. Oh, okay. All right. Well, <laughs> I guys, <work> hard. <laughs> let us know down below in the comment section what you think uh, should be an Olympic sport. And let us know what you think about breakdancing being included into the Olympics. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And, uh, and leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Because here it is, 2024, this year, they're going to have breakdancing. Come 2025, we're going to have twerking. Anyway, we'll see y'all next time. Take care. Peace.